right, we're going to do some two-step equations with variables on both sides. Who's going to read number one for me? The plumbing problem. Sierra, go ahead, number one. Read it to me. A1 plumbing service charges $35 per hour plus a $25 travel charge for a service call. Good Guy Plumbing Repair charges $40 per hour for a service call with no travel charge. How long must a service call be for the two companies to charge the same amount? Okay, when you do a work problem like this, look, you got to read that again right now on your own. Now I want you to underline, circle, start things for you, right? Do it again. You can't hear what's going on after one time, right? Let's try two to see what information we have. Now, if you're super fast, just kind of slow down a little bit, right? Some key information. If you don't know what to underline, you can kind of look up here. I'm going to underline a couple things here that are important to me. I'll stop talking because it needs to be quiet for a second while we read this. When we see a word problem, I always look at the last thing it says. It says how long. Right there, this how long part right here, I want everyone to just kind of put a little box around that how long right there. That is our variable, right? So we're going to put x equals, we're going to define that variable. And it's going to be x equals what? How long, which is, we're talking hours here, so I'm going to put, um, just like, I'm going to put number of hours right there, right? You guys got that? Okay. Now, this A1 plumbing service, right, we're going to try to figure out if this is a better deal than the good guys. When you call plumbers to your house, you better get your wallet ready, because it's pretty expensive. So you want to make sure, A, they know what they're doing, and they don't break things, and who's giving you the best price? Because they're there for 24 hours. You better be ready. So this guy, or not this guy, I thought it was Al. It's A1, sorry. A, A1 plumbing service, $35 an hour. We're going to start on this one and put 35 right here. We're going to put 35X, right? Because we don't know how long A1 is going to be there. But if they show up for like a couple seconds and they're like, here's your problem, like they fix it in like a second, you have to give them 25 bucks, right? So we're going to add what? 25, right? We're going to add 25 right there. That's A1. So what are the two companies going to charge the same amount? So we're going to set it equal to good guys over to the right. Good guys is more expensive, isn't it? Now notice the title says solving variables on both sides. So we're going to need, see that? We're going to need a variable on the other side. Who's got the other part of the equation? Matthew? 40x. 40x. Go ahead and put that 40x right there. We have it, and your job is to solve that. And just put your pencil down when you solve that out. And you can just circle your answer when you're ready. Everyone at once, shout out the answer. Five. Five. Look at that positivity. Five. Okay. Five what? Hours. Okay. Now, can we do that by yourself? I don't know. I don't know. It's going to take a little time. Let's scooch over to number two right here. Who's my reader on number two? Crystal clear. Look at the hand from Jesse in the corner. Go ahead. And on this one, go ahead and underline and circle the first time she reads it. If we were doing this on your own, you probably want to read it three times by yourself, but we're kind of a team in here based on time. Jesse, go ahead. Mike's Fitness Center charges $30 per month for a membership. Aldi Fitness Club charges $22 per month plus an $80 initiation fee for a membership. Mm. After how many months will the total amount paid to the two fitness clubs be the same? Does anyone belong to like a, I know you guys are eighth graders, but like a gym? And Enrique, which gym? Okay. Yes. CrossFit. So when you go and sign up, I mean, maybe your parents do it. There's like, they usually have an initiation fee, right? This place has an initiation fee of 80 bucks. That's, not, that's actually not too bad, right? 
Like I'm a member of 24 Hour Fitness and I have to pay a monthly fee um, as well. So let's just underline some key information right here. Let's go ahead and underline this right here. $30 per month, right? For That's Mike's Fitness Center. The other place is $22 a month plus initiation fee, right, for the other place. First thing I want you guys to do on your paper is I want you guys to put X on your paper right here. What are we trying to figure out on this? It says, after how many months will the total amount paid to the two fitness clubs be the same? So, X equals what? Who knows? Mackenzie. Number of months. Number of months, right? Okay. Now, just by looking at this without doing anything, which, I mean, which is a better deal, do you think? They want to say what's the better deal is based on their... I mean, rather than just blurting out, George, you swipe C into the multiple choice. Is anyone, what were you thinking? Uh, the second one. Why do you say that? Yeah, I see what you're saying, but over time, the $22 a month one, over time, is you're going to be saving money. You're going to have to be a, a member for a while. So when is it the same? Let's set up the equation. Here we go. Part one. This is this is Mike's Fitness Center, right? This is going to be 30. 30 what? X, right? Equals the other place is 22 X, and we're going to add what? 80. Your job is to solve that. Go ahead. When you're done, just put your pencil down, right? Don't talk to your neighbors just for a little bit here. All right. And you're going to see if your answer matches mine, which it will. Everyone say the answer. Ten, Ten what? Months. Months. I almost forgot the months. Okay. Now we're going to get a little harder. We're going to do one more here. First of all, does anyone have a question on what we just did right there? Okay, slide it over number three. I need a reader on three. The Lone Star Shipping Company. Let's get Hannah on this one. And underline. Some people aren't like underlining. You need to do that, guys. It's going to help you out. Hannah, go ahead. The Lone Star Shipping Company charges $14 plus $2 a pound to ship an overnight package. Discount Shipping Company charges $20 plus $1.50 a pound to ship an overnight package. For what weight is the charge the same for the two pounds? Can you guys know what to underline? You're $14 plus. You $2 a pound over here. $20 plus $1.50 a pound on the other company, right? So let's look and let's just get that X here. We're trying to find X equals, see it says for what weight right here? Are we talking pounds or what are we talking here? So X equals, we're going to put like here, you're going to put number of pounds right here. Do you guys see that? Okay. Let's talk equations right here. Who thinks they could give me some information to help us out? I mean, we're talking, look at the loan ship, start shipping. We got $14, Gordillo. Talk to me. Oh, you want to, oh, I like that how you just did the first one. That's good. Everyone put 14 plus 2X on your paper, right? That's the loan star. Right, now we're going to get the right side. Who's got the right side of the equation? Let's go with Alicia. What do you got? Can you say that one more time? 20 plus, I'm just going to put 1.5x, which is the same thing. All right, now let's go ahead and solve this together here, right? I think the best call is to subtract 1.5x from both sides right here. I think that's a good call. What is 2 minus 1.5? 0.5, since I don't like decimals or calculators, I'm going to write 1 half x right there. Is that fine? 1 half x is the same thing as 0.5. I'm going to subtract 14 over here. 20 minus 14 is 6. So all you got to do is multiply by the what? Reciprocal, which would be 2, because we already learned that. Answer is what? 12. Is it pounds? It is. 12 pounds. All right, good work. Now we're gonna do a couple more. We're gonna finish up. I'm gonna hit the stop button.